In this short video, we take a look at the need for error checking. We send and receive vast amounts of data. It's estimated by 2025, the volume of data created, captured, copied and consumed worldwide will exceed 180 zebibytes. A zebibyte is 1.1 sextillion bytes. With the complexity of computers and the vast amounts of ones and zeros being transmitted, there's always a possibility that data can be lost, gained or changed along the way. Now, there are many ways that errors can crop up in data transmissions. Two of the most common are shown here. Firstly, there's interference. Almost all types of cables can suffer from electrical interference, and this can cause data to become corrupt. In essence, this means ones can become zeros, zeros can become ones, or individual bits of data can simply be lost. And also packet switching. Issues can occur during the process, which can cause data to be lost or even gained. There are a number of different error checking methods which can be used to help overcome this issue. We'll be looking at each of these in more details in the next set of videos. For now, that's a quick overview as to the need for error checking, so pause the video and take some notes.